Unary operators. Not all operators are symbols. Some are written as words. One example is the type of operator, T-Y-P-E-O-F, which produces a string value naming the type of the value you give it. Console.log, parentheses, type of, 4.5, close parentheses, gives number. So C-O-N-S-O-L-E dot L-O-G, parentheses, T-Y-P-E-O-F, 4.5, close parentheses. So I guess that's how they figure out whether it's a string or an integer. Um... So the console log type of 4.5 is a number. Console log type of quote x quote close parentheses is a string. We will use console.log in example code to indicate that we want to see the result of evaluating something. More about that in the next chapter. The other operators shown all operated on two values, but type of takes only one. Operators that use two values are called binary operators, while those that take one are called unary operators. The minus operator can be used both as a binary operator and as a unary operator. Console.log parentheses minus parentheses 10 minus 2, close parentheses, close parentheses. That gives negative 8. Console.log, first you do 10 minus 2 to get 8, and then the negative makes it a negative 8. Boolean values. Boolean values. It is often useful to have a value that distinguishes between only two possibilities, like yes and no, or on and off. For this purpose, JavaScript has a Boolean type, which has just two values, true and false, which are written as those words. Comparison. Here is one way to produce Boolean values. Console.log parentheses 3 greater than 2 close parentheses. True. Console.log 3 less than 2. False. The greater than and less than signs are the traditional symbols for is greater than and is less than, respectively. They are binary operators. Applying them results in a Boolean value that indicates whether they hold true in this case. Strings can be compared in this in the same way. Console log quote Aardvark, that's A A R D V A R K, close quotes, less than Zoroaster, that's quote Z O R O A S T E R, close quotes. The way strings are ordered is roughly alphabetic, but not really what you'd expect to see in a dictionary. Uppercase letters are always less than lowercase ones. So capital Z is less than lowercase a. And non-alphabetic characters, exclamation point, dash, and so on, are also included in the ordering. When comparing strings, JavaScript goes over the characters from left to right. Comparing the Unicode's comparing the Unicode codes one by one. Other similar operators are greater than equal, greater than or equal to, less than equal, less than or equal to, equal equal, 
that's specifically equal, like exactly equal to, and exclamation point equal, which means not equal to. Uh, it's a lot of this is the same in Python. Console.log, quote, itchy, unquote, exclamation point equal, quote, scratchy. All right, so it says itchy is not equal to scratchy, and that's true. Console.log apple equals orange. That comes up as false because apple is not the same thing as orange. There is only one value in JavaScript that is not equal to itself, and that is NAN, not a number. Console log, not a number, equal, equal, not a number, is false. NAN, not a number, is supposed to denote the result of a nonsensical computation. And as such, it isn't equal to the result of any other nonsensical, nonsensical computations. Logical operators. There are also some operations that can be applied to Boolean values themselves. JavaScript supports three logical operators, and, or, and not. These can be used to reason about Booleans. The AND AND operator represents logical AND. It is a binary operator, and its result is true only if both the values given to it are true. So console log true AND AND false is false, while console.log true AND AND true is true. The vertical line, vertical line operator denotes logical or. It produces true if either of the values given to it is true. So console.log false or true is true. And console.log false or false is false. Not as written as an exclamation mark parentheses exclamation. It is a unary operator that flips the value given to it. Exclamation point true, which is not true, produces false. And exclamation point false, which is not false, gives true. It gives the opposite, right? When mixing these Boolean operators with arithmetic and other operators, it is not always obvious when parentheses are needed. In practice, you can usually get by with knowing that of the operators we have seen so far, or has the lowest precedence. Then comes AND, then the comparison operators, greater than, equals, and so on, and then the rest. This order has been chosen such that in typical expressions like the following one, as few parentheses as possible are necessary. 1 plus 1 equals 2 and 10 times 10 greater than 50. The last logical operator I will discuss is not unary, not binary, but ternary, operating on three values. It is written with a question mark and a colon like this. Console.log, true, question mark, 1, colon, 2, gives 1. Console.log, false, question mark, 1, colon, 2, gives 2. This one is called the conditional operator, or sometimes just the ternary operator since it is the only such operator in the language. The value on the left of the question mark picks which of the other two values will come out. When it is true, it chooses the middle value. And when it is false, it chooses the value on the right.
empty values. There are two special values, written null and undefined, that are used to denote the absence of a meaningful value. They are themselves values, but they carry no information. Many operations in the language that don't produce a meaningful value, you'll see some later, yield undefined simply because they have to yield some value. The difference in meaning between undefined and null is an accident of JavaScript's design, and it doesn't matter most of the time. In cases where you actually have to concern yourself with these values, I recommend treating them as mostly interchangeable. Automatic Type Conversion In the introduction, I mentioned that JavaScript goes out of its way to accept almost any program you give it, even programs that do odd things. This is nicely demonstrated by the following expressions. Console.log 8 times null gives 0. Console.log quote 5 unquote minus 1 gives 4. Console.log quote 5 unquote plus 1 gives 5 1. Console.log quote 5 times 2 gives NAN, not a number. And console.log false equal equals zero gives true. When an operator is applied to the wrong type of value, JavaScript will quietly convert that value to the type it needs. Using a set of rules that often aren't what you want or expect, this is called type coercion. The null in the first expression becomes zero, and the five in the second expression becomes five, from string to number. Yet in the third expression, plus try string concatenation before numeric addition. So the one is converted to string one, from number to string. When something that doesn't map to a number in an obvious way, such as 5 or undefined, is converted to a number, you get the value NAN, not a number. Further arithmetic operations on NAN, not a number, keep producing NAN, not a number. So if you find yourself getting one of those in an unexpected place, look for accidental type conversions. When comparing values of the same type using equal equal, the outcome is easy to predict. You should get true when both values are the same, except in the case of NAN. But when the types differ, JavaScript uses a complicated and confusing set of rules to determine what to do. In most cases, it just tries to convert one of the values to the other value's type. However, when null or undefined occurs on either side of the operator, it produces true only if both sides are one of null or undefined. Console.log null equals equals undefined is true while console.log null equals equals zero is false. That behavior is often useful. When you want to test whether a value has a real value, instead of null or undefined, you can compare it to null with the equal equal or exclamation point equal for not equal operator. But what if you want to test whether something refers to the precise value false? Expressions like zero equals equals false and quote, quote, that's the empty quotes, equals equals false, 
are also true because of automatic type conversion. When you do not want any type conversions to happen, there are two additional operators, equal, 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 and exclamation point, equal, equal. The first test whether a value is precisely equal to the other, and the second test whether it is not precisely equal. So the empty quotes, quote, quote, equal, 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 false, is false as expected. I recommend using the three character comparison operators defensively to prevent unexpected type conversions from tripping you up. But when you're certain the types on both sides will be the same, there is no problem with using the shorter operators. Short circuiting of logical operators. The logical operators and and, which is and, and the two vertical lines, which is or. So the logical operators and and or handle values of different types in a particular way. They will convert the value on their left side to Boolean type in order to decide what to do. But depending on the operator and the result of that conversion, they will return either the original left-hand value or the right-hand value. The OR operator, for example, will return the value to its left when that can be converted to true and re will return the value on its right otherwise. This has the expected effect when the values are Boolean and does something analogous for values of other types. Console.log null or user in quotes returns user. Console.log Agnes or user returns Agnes. We can use this functionality as a way to fall back on a default value. If you have a value that might be empty, you can put or after it with a replacement value. If the initial value can be converted to false, you'll get the replacement instead. The rules for converting strings and numbers to Boolean values state that zero, not a number, and the empty string count as false, while all the other values count as true. So zero or negative one produces negative one and the empty quotes or quote exclamation point question mark close quote yields quote exclamation point uh, question mark close quote. The AND operator works similarly but the other way around. When the value to its left is something that converts to false, it returns that value and otherwise it returns the value on its right. Another important property of these two operators is that the part to their right is evaluated only when necessary. In the case of true or x, no matter what x is, even if it's a piece of program that does something terrible, the result will be true, and x is never evaluated. The same goes for false or x, which is false and will ignore x. This is called short circuit evaluation. The conditional operator works in a similar way. Of the second and third values, only the one that is selected is evaluated. So summary. We looked at four types of JavaScript values in this chapter numbers, strings, booleans, and undefined values. Such values are created by typing in their name, true, null, or value, 13, quote, ABC, unquote. You can combine and transform values with operators. We saw binary operators for arithmetic, 
plus, minus, multiply, divide, and mod. String concatenation using plus. Comparison equals equals, question mark equal, equal equal equal, question mark equal equal, less than, greater than, less equal, greater equal, and logic. And, and, which is and, and the two vertical lines, which is or as well as several unary operators. Minus to negate a number, exclamation point to negate logically, and type of to find a value's type. And a ternary operator, question mark colon, to pick one of two values based on a third value. This gives you enough information to use JavaScript as a pocket calculator, but not much more. The next chapter will start tying these expressions together into basic programs.